Welcome in the another SAP tutorial of ERP SAP team. This is purely educational video for training and understanding purpose. So today's our discussion topic is how to close the purchase order in SAP. How to close the purchase order in SAP. We are we have a test case. For example, uh, in my company that is double one double zero and plan 3002 and uh, there is a vendor code material quantity uh, material and uh, purchase order quantity quantity received and open quantity so in our company there is a requirement of uh, one of the material uh, we have placed this purchase order with this number of five kilometer quantity okay so vendor has supplied the material of three kilometer and uh, and purchase order we have created for five kilometer for, for the two kilometer of the quantity purchase order is still open so in this case we can say this is open purchase order in this plan against this vendor code against this material code okay so it is common practice it is common criteria once it is ensured that there is a no uh, material is going to receive in the near future our vendor is not going to supply any material in respect to purchase order then we need to close the purchase order okay ha on the half yearly basis or quarterly basis or yearly basis you should do this practice in your plant okay how many uh, purchase order are still open for the good receipt you can uh, check using me2n okay so we are going to uh, check this we are going to check this purchase order okay you can open this purchase order using me23n okay we are going to check this purchase order using me2n my humble suggestion to uh, take the scope club list as alv but i have taken here best and the selection parameter are wz we101 what is the we101 we101 is for the open good receipt for which purchase order material is still open for the receipt of the quantity okay plant is 3002 okay and uh, document date we have taken from 1st march 2021 to 31st march 2021 how many of the purchase order are open during this period still open only one purchase order is open okay uh, in this uh, vendor code okay five five kilometer po has been created still to be delivered two kilometers still to be invoiced two kilometer means for three kilometer supply of the material a good receipt has been done completed and invoice verification is also done means myro already had done for three kilometer so for the 40 percent of the quantity for the 40 percent of the quantity system purchase order is open okay so in me2n we will get all the data you will get all the data in proper manner using a scope of list as ALV, ALV, okay. This tutorial we are creating for just understanding and the training purpose, okay. You should understand the concept, okay. We are opening this purchase order in SAP using ME23N. Here you need to fill the purchase order. Okay. See. In the delivery schedule of this, in the delivery schedule, you can clearly observe that for uh, three kilometer of the quant purchase order has been created for the five kilometer. Of, okay. Schedule quantity is five kilometer. Good receipt quantity is three kilometer. 
and open quantities for 2 km ok for the 2 km of the purchase order is open ok and you can clearly observe that for 3 km of the quantity MIGO already done and for 3 km of the quantity invoicing is also done so MIRO is done and MIGO is done good receipt is done but for 2 km is purchase order is still open but uh, as soon as possible it is confirmed by the competent authority and the vendor is not going to uh, supply 2 km of the quantity then the PO creator or the concern uh, system in charge or departmental in charge is going to close this purchase order how can you close the purchase order uh, go in edit mode go in the delivery tab and uh, <coughs> here there is an option in of the delivery complete you can uh, click on the delivery completed okay and then save the purchase order once you save the purchase order system is not going to open two kilometer of the quantity fine see in the open quantity column two kilometer is disappeared two kilometer is not going to show you anymore okay so <clears throat> now you can save the purchase order and uh, you can log the purchase order okay you, you can log this purchase order if I am going to uncheck this box then open quantity is 2 km if delivery completed decided by the PO in charge then system is not going to close this second way uh, we are going to lock this purchase order we are going to lock this purchase order see we are going to block this purchase order and going to save see in the delivery tab 2 km quantity is not open now ok 2 km quantity is not open now so that's why if any purchase order is open if any purchase order is open then using two method you can you can short close this purchase order getting my points and this is the best way you can do anything SAP this is the beauty of a uh, software that you can do anything via conceptual manner okay if any purchase order is open then it's your responsibility to close those purchase order if everything is confirmed by the vendor and competent authority then no more activity is going to happen in this purchase order okay so this is this educational video and training video is created for just understanding and knowledge sharing purpose knowledge sharing is gearing once you share the knowledge with your colleagues and friends and seniors they will benefit then will, they will get benefited uh, by this uh, knowledge they will understand what is the meaning of open purchase order what is the meaning of closed purchase order what is the meaning of the good receipt of the quantity what is the meaning of the invoice receipt generally people are understand not understand of the invoice receipt they just know MIRO is done but what is the MIRO MIRO is invoice verification process and once you post the MIRO in the system a invoice receipt document is generated okay that is the MIRO document that is the okay Thank you for watching this SAP tutorial. This is purely education and training purpose tutorial. If you think this is useful tutorial for you, please press a like button. It will support and motivate us for create more and more conceptual video tutorial for you guys. Okay. See you in the next tutorial. Okay. See you in the next tutorial. And please, if you are new on YouTube channel, please subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for our latest SAP video updates. Thank you. Have a nice day. Keep watching. Keep sharing.